Welcome to my lecture online. So far we've done videos on heat transfer via conduction, heat transfer via convection, and now it's time to do some videos on heat transfer via radiation. But before we do that, let's talk about some concept called radiant emittance. What is it? And let's do some simple examples so we can get a feel for what it actually implies. So radiant emittance by definition is the radiated energy per unit area. So when we're dealing with radiated energy, we're thinking about the Stefan Boltzmann's law. So I think we'd be able to uh, define it as such that Q, which is called the radiant, is the, is the variable used for radiant emittance, is equal to the ratio of capital Q dot divided by the cross-sectional area. Now Q dot is the amount of heat per unit area that's radiated from a radiating object. And using Stefan Boltzmann's law, that that would be equal to E, the emissivity constant, times sigma, times the area, times temperature to the fourth power, all divided by the area. And then notice, of course, that this is the areas will cancel out. So it's essentially the amount of heat radiated per unit area. So this can then be written as sigma, uh, E times sigma, times temperature to the fourth power, or Q is equal to E sigma t to the fourth power. Now for most substances, E is nearly equal to 1. It's usually somewhere between 0.95 and 1, so we usually take it as 1, but there's substances that have a much lower emissivity, uh, especially things that are kind of uh, insulating kind of materials that they would put on thermos bottles and things like that. Of course, we need to know the um, the value of the constant, 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8 watts per square meter per Kelvin to the fourth power. So if we're going to then apply that to two objects, one that is a 300 Kelvin and one that's 3000 Kelvin, what does the radiant emittance looks like for, look like for those particular objects? So starting for A, we can say that Q is equal to the emissivity constant, let's take it at 1, times sigma, which is 5.67, times 10 to the minus 8 watts per square meter per Kelvin to the fourth power times 300 Kelvin to the fourth power. And so let's see what that is equal to. Need a calculator. All right, 5.67 e to the 8 minus times 300 square square again equals, that looks like about 459 watts per square meter, so 459, so the units will be watts, notice that Kelvin to the fourth, Kelvin to the fourth cancel per square meter, which gives us the correct units, watts per square meter. Now let's do it again for an object that is 10 times as hot, 3000 Kelvin instead of 300 Kelvin, so for part B, Q is going to be equal to 1 times 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8 watts per square meter times Kelvin to the fourth power, and then we multiply that times 3000 Kelvin to the fourth power instead of 300 Kelvin to the fourth power, so that's 10 to the fourth times as high, so we add four zeros. So this would be equal to 4, 5, 9, with 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, watts per square meter, and notice that if we put some decimal places there, that would, go, that would be equal to 4.59 times 10 to the sixth watts per square meter. So the difference between an object at 300 Kelvin, which is maybe a little bit more than room temperature, to an object that's at 3000 Kelvin, that is a very hot object, notice the difference in radiant emittance, and so that's what we call it, the radiant emittance is 459 watts per square meter to 4.59 million watts per square meter. So 10,000 times as much radiation, so 10 times as much radiant emittance from an object as a 3,000 Kelvin versus a 300 Kelvin. And that's what we mean by radiant emittance.